Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here x plus 1, you can rewrite that as x minus 1 plus 2. That is, this power here becomes 4 raised to the power x minus 1 plus 2, then minus 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 40 on this side and from what we have here all those one we have a raised to power n plus n which you can write as a raised to power n times a raised to power n and here we treat m as x minus 1 then n as 2 then what we have becomes 4 raised to power x minus 1 times 4 square then minus 4 raised to the power x minus 1 here equals to 40 on this side. And here we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 common. We factor it out and we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 into bracket. Here we have 4 square minus 1 left, then equals to 40 from here. That is the same thing as. 4 raised to the power x minus 1 into bracket 4 square that's 16 minus 1 here then equals to 40 on this side and this same thing as 4 raised to the power x minus 1 times 15 here then equals to 40 on this side next day we divide both side by 15 divide this side by 15 also divide this side by 15 that is 15 cancel each other here and we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 left which is equal to 40 over 15 here the next step we can write this as 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 5 times 8 over 5 times 3 here and 5 here cancel each other then we have 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 8 over 3 here then next step from here we take the log on both sides that is we have log 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to log 8 over 3 here then from here we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to the power p the same thing as p log m that is what we have here becomes x minus 1 log 4 equals to log 8 over 3 here then next step here we divide both sides by log 4 divide this side by log 4 and also divide this side by log 4 and here log 4 cancel each other then we have x minus 1 left which is equals to log 8 over 3 then over log 4 here that is from what we have here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, we can write this as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x minus 1 equals to log 8 minus log 3 then over log 4. Then from here we separate this into two fractions and we have x minus 1 equals to log 8 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 that is also here we can write 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 raised to the power 3 and also 4 as 2 times 2 which is 2 squared then what we have now becomes x minus 1 equals to 
log 2 raised to the power 3 over log 2 square then minus log 3 over log 2 squared then here we apply the power of logarithm 3 comes here 2 here and also here then this becomes x minus 1 equals to 3 log 2 over 2 log 2 here then minus here we have log 3 over 2 log 2 here that is from here log 2 cancel each other we have 3 over 2 left and we have x minus 1 equals to 3 over 2 minus here we can write this as 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 then here we write this from change of bits when we have log a over log b this same thing as log a base b then here what we have becomes x minus 1 equals to 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 to base 2 then also here we take minus 1 to this side become plus and we have x equals to 1 and plus 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 here then here 1 plus 3 over 2 become 5 over 2 so here we have x equals to 5 over 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 then 2 is the SCM here we can bring it together as x equals to 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 so here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 5 minus log 3 base 2 over 2 here then what we have becomes 4 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 over 2 plus 1 here and also minus 4 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 minus 1 here then is equal to 40 on this side then from what we have here we can bring this power together as one up here that is we have 4 raised to power SEM here is 2 then we see our 5 minus log 3 base 2 here then plus 2 here now also minus here we bring this power as well together SEM is 2 then we have 5 minus log 3 base 2 then minus 2 here now is equals to 40 on this side then here 5 plus 2 that's 7 we can raise as 4 is to power 7 minus log 3 base 2 over 2 then minus here we have 4 is to power 5 minus 2 that's 3 so we have 3 minus log 3 base 2 over 2 is equals to 40 from here and from what we have here we can express 4 as 2 square which is raised to power 7 minus log 3 base 2 over 2 also minus here 4 as 2 square then raised to power 3 minus log 3 base 2 over 2 is equals to 40 on this side that is this power multiplies 2 cancel each other here we are left with 2 raised to power 7 minus log 3 base 2 then minus also 2 cancel each other here we have 2 raised to power 3 minus log 3 base 2 
is equals to 40 on this side. Then applying the law of indices, when we have a raised to the power m minus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. Then here this becomes 2 raised to the power 7 over 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 then minus also 2 raised to the power 3 over 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 is equals to 40 on this side then 2 raised to the power 7 gives us 128 then over here this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here we have 3 then minus 2 raised to the power 3 that's 8 then also here over 3 is equal to 40 on this side then we can bring this together SM is 3 then we have 128 minus 8 that's 120 is equal to 40 from here and of course 120 over 3 here gives us 40 which is equal to 40 on this side left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here we conclude that x equals to 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe to Master T Math Class for more videos. And turn on the notification bell and share this video with a thumbs up with your comment. See you next class and bye for now.